So every time I got a new headset, somebody asked in the comments if I have recommendations for a wireless version of that headset. And today I have one of the newest wireless headsets. It's the TUF Gaming H3 Wireless from Asus. I've been trying out this 2.4 GHz wireless headset recently and I'm going to tell you all about it in this video. Let's begin. So how are you doing my friends? I'm Otto Dill and welcome to the channel. If you are for the first time here, that's your chance right now to click on the red button down below. That's the subscribe button. When you're going to click on it, you're going to see my future reviews and I have some really cool stuff coming up you don't want to miss any of these because ton of boxes just on my left over here subscribe so you can see my future reviews believe me you don't want to miss out on that but today we are with this it's the newest gaming headset from Asus and it's coming from the TUF series so you know you're gonna get something that's robust and doable so I've been using it a lot recently I just did a quick unboxing you're gonna see everything that you get in the box that's the headset itself it's with a built-in mic as you can see right now it has this uh, cable over here that's a USB-C charging cable and it's charging only so you cannot use this headset as a wired headset it's only as wireless because you have this USB-C dongle. One of the biggest things about the TUF H3 wireless is that it's actually compatible with cross platforms. You can use it on your Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, mobile phone or computer. So eventually for me that's an important thing as I do actually have all of these consoles and I play on all of them. So I want to move my headset from a console to a PC to a mobile phone. I can do that using just removing this USB-C dongle. One of the other things that you get here is this USB-C to USB-A adapter which you probably already have you still get another one with this box and you're going to use this when you want to um, use a device that doesn't have a USB-C port on it to connect the 2.4 gigahertz dongle we also get these two manuals which will tell you everything about this headset but there's not too much to know because you're going to see right now all of its features and the USB-C cable is not that long by the way so that's like one thing I wish could be uh, better with this headset. I've been using it heavily recently. I'm gonna tell you all about it. The first thing I wanna talk about is that Asus actually mentions in their product page that this is super comfortable because of the low tension clamp. This is really true. One of the things I noticed that when I put this on my head, the clamp is not that hard on my ears or head and I really, really like it. This is one of the best headphones comfort wise that I actually tested in the last recent years. And I think that if you are looking for something that doesn't really put too much burden on your head, it has an amazing clamp system. I don't know what Asus did. I really like this. It's better than the Delta, which is the more expensive uh, headphones that actually Asus uh, produces. And I like the way that this feels on the head a lot. Other than that, we have all the options or buttons on the bottom of the headset itself. Um, you have the on off switch, you have the volume up, volume down switch, which is actually a different button. If you press on it, you basically turn off the sound or mute the sound output from the headphones or headset. Um, another thing that you have here is the mute button, which is really useful. So you can mute your mic. Basically, you put your hand on the left ear cup and with your thumb, you can press on all of the buttons. It's really accessible. So that's that in terms of uh, buttons, the whole build of this headset is very lightweight for me it's ultra important and this is around 300 grams so if you're like me you're really going to enjoy the way that this feels on your head itself in terms of sound quality that's the big thing this is still an entry level headset it's nothing like the Delta, which are more expensive, or the Strix Go system, which is obviously more expensive. But still, you get good quality sound, high dynamic range, and if you use the Armory software from Asus, you can actually get 7.1 virtual surround sound. The included microphone is okay. Definitely use it if you are not planning to do live streams or anything professional. It gets the job done if you're talking with friends on Discord or while playing a game. It's not removable, so that's something that maybe you wanna take note of and uh, all in all I'll probably use it on Zoom conversations or anywhere that I don't really record my uh, session when talking to the microphone but I still want the other side to hear me when I'm talking to them. And this is how it sounds like when I'm using the H3 wireless from Asus to record my voice. The mic is kind of close to my mouth right now but still it's not touching it and I hope you can really hear me clearly because that's the sound quality of the microphone recording on this headset. So that's it. All in all, it's, I think if you're going to get this headset, you want to get it because of the reliability. You're going to get an ASUS device. Um, you get ultra low latency with this dongle. You have it also on the uh, more expensive ASUS uh, wireless devices. And uh, that's a big thing for me. So if you don't want to have any disconnections and so on, definitely look into this device. If you are looking for a comfortable headset, you can rely on with good sound. Not the best, obviously, because you're not paying for the best here, but still you're getting something that uh, you can use 
for a long period of time and uh, it's very comfortable. That's it, that's the TUF H3 Wireless, the new headset from ASUS. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this headset and also let me know in the comments below if you believe that there is a better wireless headset that I should review on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna put two links for you over here to watch for other video reviews that are related to this one. Also another one over here on the side and the option to subscribe if you haven't done so already, click on it so I can see all my future videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.